there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with this beautiful mudra stencil called Floral Fantasy, as you can see. I'll be working with Distress Inks today and some Strathmore Bristol Smooth watercolour card. So first of all, I'm using some painter's tape to um, get my stencil in position over my card. And I have marked off, masked off with the tape part of the stencil that I don't want to ink up today. So I just cover that with tape so that you don't accidentally uh, blend a bit of ink where you don't want it. These stencils from Mudra are so beautiful. There's such a fabulous range and I really, really enjoy working with them. They're gorgeous quality and all such a variety of beautiful uh, patterns and images. I can't get enough of them myself so this one is the first one I've used from the new December release. So as you can see I've chosen two Distress Ink colours there. In green I've got Crushed Olive and Twisted Citron and I've added the Twisted Citron first with a sponge dauber and then adding a bit of depth with the Crushed Olive just in the centre and then I'll move on with three colours for the flowers. So I'm using mustard seed, picked raspberry and peacock feathers. And because I'm using small areas or I'm trying to get the ink into small areas, I'm using my sponge daubers today instead of the uh, usual ink blending tools that you see me use with my distress inks. So adding the picked raspberry now and of course as it blends with the mustard seed it gives you a nice orange tone and then you end up with a purpley hue as well as you blend the peacock feathers with the picked raspberry so I love the way you can achieve a range of different colours through your, your ink blending. So just working my way around the stencil now adding extra uh, colour where it's needed going back and forth between my colours and just gently sort of pouncing up and down with the sponge dauber to get the ink into the areas where I want it. I do tap off on the paper that you see on the side so that I haven't got too much ink at any one time and I just build up the layers of colour. So I'll leave you now as I work my way around that particular part of the stencil that I'm featuring on the front of my card today and I'll be back again with you soon. Complete. 
and it's just a matter of grabbing a baby wipe and cleaning off the stencil or you can uh, wash it into some uh, water in the sink and then I've placed it back down over the top and a little bit off the image just a little bit to the side of where the ink blended images are and I'm using this gorgeous Nouveau glimmer paste in Moonstone just to go over the two large flowers that are on my card front today. So I could have put them the glimmer paste straight over the top of the inked portion but I decided I just would like the effect of it being a little bit misaligned I guess you, you would call it. It just gives you a different look and you know something that um, grabs your eye a little bit more. So you do need to clean off straight away with a baby wipe and as you can see there that's the, the look I was going for. You get the moonstone glimmer paste on the coloured areas but as well you get it on the white cardstock in the background. So you do need to just mask off the areas you don't want the glimmer paste to go and then use your palette knife to sort of butter it on like you're spreading butter on toast and you're done. Of course you do need to leave it dry, it doesn't take long at all and then it's time to add the sentiment and I love this gorgeous set. Uh, it came out last year from Mudra called Wishing, or in 2017 I should say, called Wishing You. Such a gorgeous font and I love to use this set whenever I can. It's got so many beautiful little uh, extra additional sentiments so you can really um, celebrate all sorts of occasions. So today I'm choosing Wishing You a Happy Birthday because I'm always needing birthday cards. Adding some green craft foam, that colour will work well with the colours on my card and just using my liquid adhesive to add that to a teal coloured card base. Adding some of the beautiful Harvest Mix sequins from Mudra and my card is complete. <laughs> 